This is the Curfew Incubator we picked up a few weeks ago at auction. I think we paid £45 for it. And it did come in the description that there was an issue with it. That uh, the person believed it needed a new thermostat. So we've looked at it. Um, I don't have a lot of space in here, which is why the picture's in a bit close, as if it were. So uh, yeah, we've had we've had a look at it. We turned it on, we left it on, and it was working fine. Then we added some eggs to it, and within about an hour, it had gone up to over 80 degrees C, which is really really high. Um, and we ripped it all apart, cleaned it all off. Then we tried it again and it wouldn't hold the temperature at all. It kept on dropping down low that time, which was a bit odd that one time it would just go high and then the next time it would just go so low. So what we're going to do now is rather than leaving it as this old um, adjustable thing, just to be able to turn to set the temperature and having to rely on internal thermometers, we're gonna get rid of all of this. Um, we're gonna get rid of all of the electronics that control it and because it's controlled in a really weird way, which I'll get onto in just a second. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna change it out for one of the STC 1000 controllers. If I just grab it out of its box. We'll use one of these on the brooder at the minute. So we're gonna change it out for one of these things. Um, they're made under lots and lots of different names and different brands but they're all the STC 1000s so we're going to place that into there like that and we we'll use that to control everything so how does it work at the minute um, there is a plate that goes across the back there but for ease of use I've pulled it out so as you can see at the back there is the wires which do the heating and just about that is the fan and we've got all of the mechanism in here for leveling and turning so the fan's going to stay, the leveling and the turning stuff is going to stay. If I, I just got two screws holding this panel on at the minute. If I just undo them, that's one. And then I'll just explain, for those of you who understand these things, for those of you who don't, you might learn something. So let's just flip it down. Now I'm gonna to have to undo that overboard. I'll be back in just a sec, I'll just undo that overboard. Okay, there were two screws that were holding this board onto the front that meant I wasn't able to drop it down enough that you was able to see. So basically what happens here is that there isn't a thermostat as such in it. How it works is, I don't quite understand it 100% myself, although I'm sure there is somebody out there who does. So you've got your mains which comes in, and you've then got mains which goes off as mains and comes down to the switch for the turny thing. So we'll be able to leave all of the turny stuff wiring in. We'll just have to give it a new live feed. And we've got another live which goes straight off to the fan at the back there. So when you plug it in, straight away the fan comes on and if you've got the turner turned to turn it will start to turn or if you've got it turned to off it won't do anything and if you've got it turned to level it will just start going round and round and round in the big circles that it does. Then you've got a 12 volt supply, I think at least I think it's 12, it drops it down and it goes through that to drop it down and that then goes through the electronic move stuff and goes around comes down and then just in the back there let's see if we can get the camera in to see it there it is this little thing here and that just goes up to some chop blocks and back on the wiring that is a part of the heating system and that might be the thermostat I don't actually quite know I don't actually quite understand it so what we want to do is we want to get rid of all of this lot up here this whole lot we're going to keep uh, the lights so we've got these lights which are going to the board 
We're not going to keep these actual lights. We are going to keep lights, but not these ones, because these are, if I can get one out that looks like it, if you look at it like that, they're like the uh, Christmas tree bulbs. So obviously they are so old and past it, and you can see that the latches they go into have broken. So I've got some uh, new LED ones that we'll put in, and they're different. They're um, red, amber, and green again, so we'll be able to keep the same colors. So yeah, basically we're going to get rid of all of the electronic controls off of it. We're going to get rid of all of this slot and we're going to go over to digital controlling. So I'm going to make a start by ripping out some of this wiring, seeing where we're at and what we need to do. Because also in here, all the wiring goes through up the top there. So I'm not sure if someone's been having a play in the past with it or if that's actually how it is. But um, yeah, we'll crack on now and we'll film the stages as we go. Okay, so we're a few minutes now into the strip out. And as you can see, I've removed totally the front of it. Um, so the, down there you can see the control panel. You can see the front of it. And basically what we've got is we've got live and neutral which come in. The earth which is still left as it was when it was there. I've pulled off the the board the two bits that go to the turner and the fan and I've marked them up as having the permanent life and I've got the two that go down to the heating elements uh, the red and the brown one there and we've got one there which is a neutral. I've left in the bulb for the time being for the turner because I'll get rid of that in a minute. So, um, yeah, this is basically the board when it comes out, and that was, I think that's a resistor that was on the end of the bit that went down the back, so that was in the very back. Um, I've just dropped down that fan just to be able to get it out. So that was basically in there at the back, just above the, the heating elements. So yeah, not too bad, slowly getting there. And uh, next, we'll um, uh, I think we'll start wiring in the new bit and working out where it's going to go and getting that cut. Okay, so I've pulled out the controller and I've removed the panel and the plastic clips that will hold it in place. They just slide off the, the sides. So we've got that, and then I've marked the hole. 17 millimeters by 29 millimeters. I'm trying to keep it as level as I can with everything else that's on the board, as well as trying to get rid of the stuff that's already there, and also giving me room if I ever need to move it at all in the past. So all I've got to do now is I've got to cut this piece out, which I'm just going to use a hacksaw to do. Uh, then go round and carefully file off the edges, just to make it nice and smooth and safe and then that will be able to go into there and then once we've got that in we'll be able to start looking at the wiring and how we're going to wire it all up okay so there we go so that's the whole cut out there and the bit now slides in I'm doing this one hand because I'm holding the camera in one hand see that slides all the way in like so, and it's a nice snug fit, so that looks alright in there, see it's sticking out the back, that needs to go in just a little bit more, but we will sort that out on the final push. So, uh, yeah, what I'm going to do now is take that back out again, just like so. I'm going to go and clean this up, because we got this nasty bit where they left the auction sticker on there, so I'll go and clean this up get this nice and clean, get that back in, and then it is onto the wiring, and we're on the final steps then. Nearly done, not bad. Right, we've now got most things in, so just prior to me lifting this up and placing it in, um, I'm just going to explain. With uh, the STC 1000s, you have a permanent live supply which comes in and goes into number one. And you can see I've taken a link, which is this wire here, which comes all the way over to number five. This is to provide the power to the heating circuit. Now it won't turn on the heating circuit until it's told to and it arrives at the right temperature. So you've got your live coming in, 
you've also got your neutrals and you can see I've got the neutrals there to power the lights so I've got the um, the power on light goes across live and neutral and I've got the one for the heat so that comes out as to when it would turn on it would come out of there but I'm just about to lift it up into place and screw that one in because I've worked out that once it's in it's going to be in and I'll have to take off the whole of the front plate to be able to get to the screws on top because there's not enough room once it's in to be able to get around and on top and screw anything in or out okay we're nearly at the end now and uh, as you can see I've got stuff put back together I've still got to put in the last of these screws just to finish it off but we've got the lights in we got the turner back in and we're in there and then if we go inside you see I've just got the fan down at the minute uh, because I wanted to show you where I put the thermostat so it's going to go there it's going to go in behind the fan because I don't really want it sat where the fans going to be blowing air and then if we can you can see the wire in there it does look a bit like a bird's nest but it's actually quite easy to work it out now quite self-explanatory and that's the back of the unit so I am going to tidy that all up I get some cable ties around it all get it all up and out the way but yeah for the time being that's it and we're just about done so it's looking quite good quite easy to do I suppose it's been about an hour so far so yeah I, I'll get it all put back together and then we'll take a look at it working and here we go then this is the final finished product it's up and running hear it going away so the temperature has just got up it's just dropping down 37.3 37.2 and it clicks in for the heating so that's now turned on the heating element it'll just go down a little bit and then it'll bring it back up again in just a second um, the lights here I've had to order some other ones because rather stupidly I ordered 12 volt ones rather than 240 volt ones and the turner all works so if I get into the shed properly again I do apologize for the angles on this and not being able to do a nice big wide angle on it but um, I don't really have the room and this is the only place I could really think of or the only place I'm really allowed to be able to store it so you can see up there it's reading 37.3 and we obviously put um, the probe for it down the back and you can see on that one there that's reading at 38 and then we've got one down the bottom there I don't know if you can see that let's have a look and see can we get that in see that's reading at 36 which is not really to be that surprising because it's uh, all the way down at the bottom and it's laid on its side as well so yeah I think that's working out okay not a problem at all um, I'm quite happy with it if we open it up oh out all the heat it is running as you can see so the turners all working okay the fans are going okay if I just turn her off turns off see it's all holding temperature perfectly fine um, I had it running for what three or four hours so just in behind that board there in that corner that's where the temperature probe sensor is if I lift out these shelves and then we'll do one quick final look at the up above bits and you can see that's the wiring Yes, it does look a bit like a bird's nest and it doesn't exactly look appealing but I can get some stuff in there to cover it over and um, yeah, it all works as I expect it to. So I'm quite pleased, it was quite easy to do. It only took an um, hour and a bit in the end to actually get it all done. But as I say, I just have to change over these bulbs. That tray's not original this one down here isn't original to the incubator and obviously it's got the wrong sort of floor and you don't want to be hatching out onto that so um, yeah I might change the flooring in that or I might just get um, a different tray in there to do the hatching I'll slide that in obviously there's no way to control the humidity in there currently I might get a humidity pump because up in the top bit I don't know if you can see it from this angle I show you up in the top there, see just there is a hole 
that goes all the way through to the top and then you've got one just on the other side of the fan up in that gap there's another hole in there just to allow for the airflow so I might be able to install some sort of humidity pump in there just to get things going so yeah that is it that is the curfew incubator transformed into the modern era working on um, the digital controllers if I just turn it back on again see how it all clicks in lock the doors and you can see it's gone straight over to heat again so it's getting ready to heat it up with that so yeah I'm very pleased very happy all worked out well so thanks for watching and until the next video bye bye